Hello again. Uh, I will teach you how to downgrade uh, Windows Server data center. For example, we have <coughs> we have here data center Azure edition to Windows Server standard. I use the latest uh, Windows Server uh, edition. It's 2025. Uh, I know that this happens uh by 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 mistakes let's say you want to install windows server and you finish installing uh windows server data center so today we'll start the downgrade process i this is not uh this is not an official way by microsoft it's like a workaround but you can <clears throat> you can use it in case you had uh installed uh, windows server data center by mistake and you want to use uh, the license you get as a Windows Server standard. So first of all, you can see here I have a test VM Windows Server Data Center 2025 Azure Edition. First, we go to Reg Edit or Registry Editor. <coughs> then, then we go Local Machine Software. Microsoft, Windows NT, current version. So as you can see here in the current version, we have three things that we need to focus on. The composition edition, the edition ID, and the product name. So first of all, we need to change this one from server turbine to standard, server standard. We can copy this one and also change the addition here. And the final thing is the product name. We need to change it to standard. Now we close the register editor and we need uh, Windows Server uh, ISO, Windows Server 1025 for sure. So we run the ISO. We don't need the updates. Next. Now we choose the Windows Server 2025 standard desktop experience. Next. Here's the thing. The, the, the thing that you need to take care about or you need to consider or uh, is this keep files, settings, and apps. So you need to keep the same settings in the, on the server so that you don't lose any files, any data, or any applications. Next. And we need to wait until the server is up again. Um, honestly, I tested this with several servers, and it's working fine. But for domain controllers, I'm not sure it will work. So for domain controllers, I prefer not to do that. I prefer for the domain controllers, you migrate the roles and uh, create another additional uh, domain controller. So we will wait until the server is up again. And uh, we'll get uh, to the result. install and now it's installing it might take like five to ten minutes so Okay, now you can see the server are logging in. Uh, 
Okay, the server is up. Let's go to server manager. So now the server is up. As you can see, it's Microsoft Windows Server 2025 standard. And now you can use your key to activate the server. And thank you so much for following. I hope this is a way so that you can uh, downgrade your server uh, in a safe way. Thank you so much.